Big update to a big case first on ClickToHouston.com, a guilty verdict for a man who's been linked to the murders of several young girls, many of them right here in the Houston area. But it was a jury up in Oklahoma that found William Reese guilty today, the first time the accused serial killer has been convicted of murder. KPRC2 investigator Robert Arnold live now in our newsroom. And Robert, this is a case that you've been following for decades, since 1997. Yes, this is a verdict 24 years in the making. William Reese had long been suspected in these crimes, but it has been a long and difficult process to see him finally prosecuted for these murders. We, the jury, impaneled and sworn the above entitled cause due upon our oaths, find as follows. The defendant is guilty. No emotion, no statements. William Reese didn't even flinch. It took an Oklahoma County jury less than two hours to find Reese guilty of murdering 19-year-old Tiffany Johnston in 1997, but this is far from the only murder Reese is suspected of committing. Reese was serving a 60-year prison sentence for the 1997 kidnapping of Sandra Sapaw in Galveston County. Sapaw escaped and helped put him away. While in a Texas prison, Oklahoma investigators used new technology to link Reese's DNA to Johnston's body, along with a phone card used shortly before she disappeared. Charged with that crime, Reese started talking and hoping to cut a deal. Reese admitted to his involvement in the kidnapping and murder of Laura Smither, who disappeared from her Friendswood neighborhood in 1997. Her body was found a few weeks later. That same year, Jessica Kane disappeared near her Tiki Island home, and Kellyanne Cox disappeared from Denton. But it wasn't until 2016 Reese finally led investigators to Kane's body buried in southeast Houston and Cox's remains buried in Brazoria County. He was then charged with all three murders, but has not yet faced trial in those cases. The Oklahoma County District Attorney's Office is pushing for the death penalty in the punishment phase of that trial begins Tuesday. After his punishment is decided, it's not known whether Reese will be brought back to Texas to face trial in the other cases. We have previously reported Texas took the death penalty off the table in exchange for Reese's confession. Live in the newsroom, Robert Arnold, KPRC 2 News. Thank you, Robert.